Well, today's video is sponsored by Black Gold Compost Company. We want to thank the good people over at Black Gold for their generous donation of all this black cow cow manure that we're using in our video today. Thank you for sponsoring our channel. <music> Well, good morning, Homestead family. Nancy asked me to test out a new vegetable that I've never grown before and she's never had before. And we wanted to test it out this fall to see if it's something we may want to try in the spring in our uh, main garden. This is called Oroch, Oroch. We got these seeds at johnnyseed.com. So if uh, this looks like it might be something that's interesting to you and it might be something you want to try in your garden, Go to Johnny Seed and get you some of these seeds. This particular variety that we're using is ruby red, beautiful red leaves. So um, this is actually a spring and summer vegetable and it gets rather large. It can get four or five feet tall and it tastes similar to spinach and it's actually a um, good alternative to spinach during the summer months when it's so hot and we can't grow spinach. So you may want to keep that in mind. And actually some folks call the Zorok um, mountain spinach. <laughs> so that might be an easy way to remember it too. So anyway, we're going to test this out this fall. I'm going to uh, get these started in some uh, seed starting trays and we'll step them up into some uh, one gallon containers and also some three gallon containers and uh, we'll see how it grows. I can get that done I believe before the frost hits because these can actually tolerate a mild or a light frost. So um, that'll give us a chance to grow this without committing to the big plants and just grow a little bit out in the grow tables and uh, we can test it by eating it in some salad to see how we like the taste of it raw and Nancy wants to also use it in some uh, cooking ingredients and in some of her recipes and uh, see if it's if she likes the way it turns out and um, I'm not sure if this has a real unique flavor or not uh, it's supposed to be similar to spinach it may have such a unique flavor that we, we may find that we prefer it to spinach in some cases so anyway there's a lot of testing we're going to put into this thing so um if we like this and it works out well for the kitchen and uh, Nancy likes the way it tastes and I like the way it tastes, then this fall we'll grow, I mean, uh, this spring we'll grow it again and uh, we'll, we'll grow it up and get it out into a raised bed somewhere where we can let the plant get into full maturity. These plants were never growing in the fall. They're not going to be fully mature by no stretch of the imagination. I don't really expect them to get any more than about this big with the small leaves. That way we can, um, we can check out and test it and see how we like the taste and how it cooks. When these grow into the full plants next spring, uh, the, the leaves can be as big as my hand. So, you know, there's quite a bit of difference. So there's no sense in committing to such a big plant in the garden if we're not sure if we even like it. So we're gonna check it out now. So anyway, let me get these uh, seeds started in uh, um, seed starting trays so we can get them over here in the seed starting rack and uh, we'll get this experiment underway. Let's get started. Okay. There's our Oroch in the seed starting rack, off and running. We're gonna um, let these things germinate. We'll be back in, in the days ahead. We'll take a look at the progress of these and stick with me on this video because we're gonna grow this all the way from seed to harvest. And these particular Oroch, I'm going to plant in three gallon containers. So I'm gonna grow it in containers and we'll, um, we'll watch that all the way out until we harvest. So I'll be back soon. We'll take it to the next step. See you then. Well, good morning, friends. 
We finally got past that heat wave here in Florida for our early fall and uh, it's starting to get kind of cool in the morning. And I noticed that the Oroch is uh, enjoying that cooler temperature a little bit more. So they've been growing for about 30 days now and um, I need to get them out of these little seed starting trays and let's get them stepped up into some containers. And um, today I wanna use six three gallon containers and I haven't grown this before, so I'm not going to go out and plant a whole lot of it the first time. So we're just going to try it out this year with uh, six of the uh, three-gallon containers. I'm going to try to put two or three in each container and uh, see how they do. And I'm, I'll probably put in a few of the little one-gallon containers and to see which one they um, prefer to grow in. I'm thinking that three, uh, three plants and a three-gallon will probably be fairly productive. So anyway, let's um, let's get this going. I've already got my uh, container mix mixed up and put into the, the buckets here. Um, the container uh, soil that I'm using here is my homemade blend. Ain't much to it. It's very simple to do. So Nancy will put a little link to that uh, to that video on our channel. Go check out that video if you want to make some of this container soil yourself. And um, We'll be using blood meal to fertilize these plants to give them a nice little shot of uh, uh, nitrogen to help produce the, the leaf growth. That's what we want is to, to, the leaf growth to grow vigorously. So let's go ahead and get these plants started and get them out on the grow table because I'm real curious to see how this, this is going to taste. And Miss Nancy, I'm sure, will come up with something right tasty. So let's get started. Okay, the pots have already uh, pre-soaked and soaked down. And as you can see, the soil level has dropped a little bit. So what I do is I add in some of my dry container mix and I'll bring that soil level right on back up just a little bit below the rim. See, okay. Next step is, is I want to pop in my first little hole and I want to make it from about the tip of my middle finger to the center of my palm. And then I'm going to add right about a tablespoon of uh, blood meal right into the hole. Then I'll take a uh, seedling, put it right down in the hole, collapse the sides around it. Kind to pack it in just a little. Let's do another one right here. I'm gonna put three in each one of these pots. A little bit of blood meal, another seedling. Collapse the sides. Okay, one more. Blood meal, seedling. These little things do have a pretty color to them. The ruby red, what this is called. I see why they call it ruby red. It's just as red as it can be. Okay, we've got three little seedlings in here. And now I'm going to take a little bit of soil and kind of tuck them guys in a little bit better. I want to try to um, support them. You notice how they look kind of leggy. So being leggy like they are, I'm going to uh, add a little bit of soil level up around those things to try to keep them up from falling over when I water them or when the rain hits them. They've been doing okay in the seed starting trays, but I just want to take care of them a little as best I can. So there we go, there's our first pot. Let me get the other, rest of these pots planted and then we'll go to the one gallons. Okay, let's see what we can do with the little one gallons. I do it the same way, just punch a small hole in there, add a little tablespoon of blood meal, grab a seedling, right into the hole, collapse the sides around it. Add a little bit of peat, a little bit of a container soil in there 
to try to help support that little leggy thing. There we go. Y'all want to do another one? Let's do one more together. Pop in my hole. A tablespoon of blood meal. Grab a seedling. Down in the hole. I collapse the sides around that seedling root ball. Collapse the sides, pack it in just a little. Then I add in a little bit more of the dry container soil to try to help support it. There we go. Okay, let me get the rest of these done and let's get over to the grow table, get these things set out in the beautiful old sunlight. Okay. Okay. There we go. I got six of the three gallon uh, containers filled with, uh, with the Oroch and uh, 10 of the one gallon. So we're gonna test these things out this year and see how we like them, see how they grow, which ones grow best, the one gallon or the three. And of course, I can't wait to see how Nancy puts it in the kitchen and on a plate. So we'll be back in the days ahead to watch the uh, progression of these Oroch all the way up until uh, we get to harvest some. So we'll see you soon. Well, welcome back friends. Our Oroch has been growing out on the containers six weeks since the day we started them from seed. And if you take a look up close, you can see that the plants are actually starting to get a little bit of traction. Um, bear in mind that these are a summer vegetable, so these cooler temperatures that I'm experiencing right now does tend to make them grow a little bit slow and it's a, a little hard to get them going. So they really prefer them warmer temperatures. But take a look up close at the ruby red. You can see the, the leaf structure is really kind of pretty. I like the shape of the leaf. It's got a really brilliant color to it. Uh, beautiful, beautiful red. And um, we noticed that after I got some of the plants installed in the pots, you know, two or three of the seeds happened to be green rather than red. So we got, you know, a green um, Oroch to uh, come up as it gives me a chance to see which colors we like. I didn't really realize that these can be uh, purchased in multiple colors, assorted colors. So now I've got a green and a red to, to test out. So anyway, um, the both of the pots, the one gallon as well as the three gallon seem to be growing well. This may even be some way that you may want to grow it uh, for yourself in your garden. You may not want a gigantic bush. You may just want some small ones. So if you do, you know, you could grow it in containers and grow it in the fall. And you could probably do the same thing in the spring with really no problem at all. And um, that way you could get it as, let it get as big as you want. So anyway, um, I wouldn't recommend trying to leave this in the pot in the summertime and expecting that to turn into a four foot plant. <laughs> I'm not saying that. If you wanted to grow this in the summertime, you may want to just start them and step them up into a one gallon like this. And when they get about that size, then you want to put them in the earth bed and let them take off. So anyway, we'll be back in the days ahead. I'm going to let this continue to grow, get a little bit bigger and a little bit richer. And as soon as it gets, you know, to a point where I think we can start doing some taste testing and some cooking testing with it, we'll, we'll do that. So we'll be back soon. See you then. Well, good morning. Our Oroch has been growing for nine weeks today. Mm -hmm. I, you know, it's uh, really looking pretty good. We've got... Uh, Pretty heavy overcast today. It's fixing to pour down rain, actually. Mm -hmm. And then we're um, supposed to get about three or four days of, you know, temperatures in the upper 30s. So uh, we won't be able to uh, leave this out here much longer. I'm afraid that those cooler temperatures might, you know, start to damage it. Yeah. But 
The good thing about the cool temperatures is that means we can go crappie fishing a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We like that crappie fishing. <laughs> mm, it's our relaxation, enjoyment, food. It's just a security. good eating. Mm -hmm. Food security, everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, the um, the ruby red Oroch has uh, really gotten to the point where I think we can give it the old taste test. Mm -hmm. And um, if you if we take a couple of these and we'll we'll take them over here to the uh, to the planting table. I, I don't want to take them out in the um, in the harvest area because it's so overcast and dark up under there you might not be able to see the mm -hmm. the plant with the with the camera so let's just go over here to the planting table we'll separate out uh, i'd like to take this this green one here mm -hmm. and uh, one of the ruby reds and let's take a close-up look at it let's harvest some of these leaves mm -hmm. and and see what you know what we got sounds good let's get going mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, we got a couple of plants over here on the uh, starting table. Uh, take a nice little close-up look at these. This, the ruby red is yeah, really got a deep color in it. It's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Nice, strong stem structure. Nice, beautiful leaves. It's really looking good. And the, um, the green one, it's pretty pretty too. Mm -hmm. Nice long stem. You can tell this fiction to just, it was ready to just shoot up and be three or four feet. You see how long that center stem is on there. It's ready to go. Mm -hmm. If this was a springtime, this thing would just explode at this mm -hmm. point. But anyway, I thought we'd just go ahead and just pick some of these leaves, you know, and go in and wash them off and um, make a salad tonight just to see, you know, if they pass the uh, salad <laughs> test. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get some leaves off while we're here real quick. Mm -hmm. I have to have to wash them. They got pine pollen on them. Oh. You see it? Yep. See a little bit of it. Can I taste one? Oh, let me wash it off first. Mm -hmm. Just get these biggest leaves. They're, they're soft leaves. See that? Mm -hmm. They're soft. Mm -hmm. Nice and tender when you eat them. Mm-hmm. Find all sorts of ways to cook them. So maybe like spinach, it comes out tender and it'd be delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the small leaves too. <laughs> I better leave them alone. Okay. You want to make, we'll mix in some of the other lettuce over there and to make a rounded out salad. But mm -hmm. right now I just want to taste some of them mm -hmm. just like they are. You think that's enough? I think that's plenty. We're going to have the other salads with it, so I don't mind tasting it, even with the pollen. I just want to taste. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. You liked it? I'm mm -hmm. going to get a bite right here. This is the ruby red one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I like spinach better. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it does different. have a, um, it's not quite like spinach, but it's similar. Mm-hmm. It must have a lot of health benefits. <laughs> I would say that it, it passes the, um. Salad test. Well, it tastes the raw taste test. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of vegetables, they taste one way when they're raw. Mm hmm And then when you, um, cook them, they taste different, mm -hmm. <laughs> but so they did pass the raw test. Mm -hmm. We could eat that. That's not a problem. Oh yeah, we'll definitely eat this tonight. Yeah. And then we'll um, we'll we'll experiment with some um, ingredients, you know, over the winter. Yeah, I am. It's you know, it's, any kind of green is really healthy for us. So I'm going to be say, figuring out ways to put it into our diet. These red leaves are just mm -hmm. oh yeah, beautiful. the purples. Oh yeah. So anyway, I guess it passed the taste test for mm -hmm. the raw. So I guess it looks like we'll probably need to grow some of this in the spring, huh? Sounds good. I'll figure out by that time, I should figure out different ways we could use it. So cool. we'll figure out how much we need. Cool beans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I may, you know what, I might even be able to save a couple of these plants over the winter mm -hmm. and we can just transplant this right into the ground in the spring. Oh, that'd be good. That yeah. way you don't have to spend any more money on it. So. Well, I'm not worried about the money. But I just don't want to have to start them over with seed again. Yeah, that's true. And get a jump start on it. Yeah, that'd be great. Well, we'll see. We'll see. 
we'll see how I could figure out what we use and how we use it. If it's like anything like spinach, you're going to need tons of plants just to make a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it does tend to shrivel up when you boil it. <laughs> yeah. But. Well, anyway, that's it for our experiment on this uh, Oroch. I think we've, um, we've learned that uh, it might be just right for what we're going to be using it in. Mm -hmm. And it gives us something new that we never had before. Definitely. Always trying something new. That way we can... Uh, Beautiful red leaves. Make our diet really good and delicious. So anyway... We thank you for watching. We hope you had fun tagging along with us on this little experiment on growing Oroch for the first time. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we thank you for watching. We hope our video brought a little smile to your face and some peace to your heart on this day. So until me and Nancy see you next time, always remember, by, by his hands, hands we, we are fed. fed. Give, Give us, Lord, our daily, daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day.